What's going on guys? It's David Osorio here with Galpin Motors and we've got an exciting day for you guys sorted out today. We're live at the Galpin Motors car show for the 10th year running. This is the Galpin car show, ladies and gentlemen. You never know what you're gonna get here. You never know what to expect. It's become a staple in the valley in all of Los Angeles and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna catch up with some of the owners of these rad rides. I heard Mr. Cartoon is gonna be here. Just ran into Bruce Canepo. We're gonna go see Big Ole. This year we've dubbed it the wildest car show on earth. So we're gonna show you guys exactly why that is. We're gonna check out five, if not more, of the wildest cars here. Come check it out. Coming, coming to you loud and clear. Like the range, everyone's attention. All right, guys, so we're here at the Porsche Pavilion, which I may be a little biased to, as you can tell. The biggest attraction that we have here is the rainbow Skittle cars, as we call it. Just check this out. Obviously, there's a lot of cars down there, but this is the totally intentional Skittles cars setup. This car is really special. It's a 911T that we've actually dubbed the Safari 911, not a Dakar. So this car was built in-house by our Galpin team. It's got Dakar wheels, elephant racing suspension, custom front bumper and rear bumper, as well as the light bar up front as so i run into levi with his family if i bother him no they seem like they're having a good time beautiful family thanks for all the work and promoted this levi you're a beautiful man all right ending this off with the bb targa hybrid our buddy just parked his garage red gt3 right there but obviously you guys have seen this we just built it it's been a real showstopper bringing back the rainbow in the coolest way possible with the black and highlighter rainbow contrast this thing is so rad that just about wraps us up for the porsche pavilion guys we've got a lot more car show to check out We're gonna catch up with Bruce Canepa right now, see if we catch him by Big Ole. Never heard much of Big Ole, but I keep hearing that name coming around here. So if you guys know anything about Big Ole, let us know before you hit this segment. But we're gonna catch up with him and see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like this is the 2023 model of the F1 car. So this is really, really rad. Just a bit of variety in what you see. We've got a little bit of everything here at the Galpa Car Show. What's going on guys? I'm here with Bruce Canepa from Canepa Motorsports. In the flesh, a living legend, a real man of the Porsche world and beyond, as you can see now, because we're with Big Oli, who I don't know much details about, but apparently the car was restored with you guys recently. So what, what can you tell us about Big Oli? Big Oli, first of all, it was it, it was a vehicle that Parnelli Jones and Bill Strop drove at Baja and won twice, 71 and 72. They were passing guys 30, 40 mile an hour faster than anybody thought you could go. That's awesome. And, um, and it, was, it was a one-off vehicle. It was all tube framed motor set way back in it, all fiberglass body panels, a wing, you know, that was all adjustable from inside. So it was a pretty state-of-the-art vehicle at the time. And of course you put Parnelli at the wheel and it's gonna go as fast as it can go. Years later when he started selling things off, a new owner purchased it at an auction and uh, he's got a great collection of cars and he bought it, took it to Baja, decided he was gonna race it. Not, you know, they have a historic race, so go play with it and have a good time. And the first thing that happened was that the one first guy driving it rolled it over and kind of tore it up. So when it came to us, it was in need of a total yeah. restoration. So <clears throat> that's how you so see what it. So what is it that you guys did on, on, on this exactly? I know the top was what got damaged, right? So well, really everything did. I mean, there, we, we kind of left. There wasn't there wasn't six square inches that wasn't damaged. Just rolling it over in the, in the desert with the rocks and the terrain and everything. So the wing obviously was completely destroyed on it. And part of doing that was we made all new wood bucks to make the wing and because it's all hand-formed aluminum. What we've done in the restoration is we put it back exactly as it was when it went in 72. And right down to the hand-painted lettering and the every detail of it's the way it was in 72. I gotta ask you Bruce, you've been able to restore some of the most legendary race cars in the world. Where, where does this sit for you up there on that well, rank? Well it's funny because you know in, in the shops, and you, you know we do everything in-house in our shops. Other than the engine, everything else in the vehicle, all the fabrication, the paintwork, the graphics, it's all done in-house. The level we do restoration, the level of detail, every right down to every rivet, you know, you, you got you to be intense yeah. and you got to have the patience and the passion to do it at that level. Well, nobody does it like you, Bruce, so it's really cool to hear that story from you. Yeah. Thank you for your time in no, the middle of this you. crazy car show. Fun. Really appreciate being Great with car show with you, of course. Fantastic car thank show. Thank you, Bruce. Appreciate it.
I'm here with Matt Hottergree, man of the hour of the Autopian. He's saying that I don't have the right stickers on my Moto Compacto. Just missing the Holy Grail sticker right there. What does the Autopian look like? What did you guys do to get this together? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, look, forward to? we are more than anything pro car. If you love your car, if it's a Ford C-Max Energy, that's a reader there. If it is a Paul Valet, if it is a Porsche on ski treads, it doesn't matter. If you're excited about it, we're excited about it. That passion for cars is what gets us up in the morning. We want to have a place for everyone. Low riders, great. If you love low riders, that's part of the culture. Car culture is in danger, right? We don't know what the future is, like vacation, you know, everything. We need to all be, and that's what I love about this car show, it is, we may have a specific part of cars that we like and a specific kind of car that we like, but we are all part of the same car culture. And that's what this is about. All of these weird cars, all these quirky cars, is about enjoying those cars. And the nice thing I will say, we have, if I had a 911 GT3, I do not. I would not try to put it up on a rock just to see what happens, right? You couldn't do that. The nice thing about also enjoying cheap, fun cars is that you can kind of do stupid shit and get away with it. Hold up, we need a gangster break here. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man, that was a gangster break we needed. That is a gangster break, we need it. It's auto pluralism. It's pluralism is what makes this country great loving and liking in different things and that's what i think makes the autopian great loving and liking different things. you heard it here guys from the man himself man hardy thank you for your words man appreciate it what's up guys i'm here with julio torres owner of kaiser cars and he's got probably the most show-stopping setup here at the galpin car show he's got his unimog slight a slight a small little tow vehicle yeah. you know towing his dick barber 935 apple car tribute so julio man tell us a little bit about this car what tell me a little bit about the original car you so know the why or, the original car it was raised for one year which was a number nine it was later on crashed it now after as far as i know it lives in germany i found this one out of florida i I bought it from the gentleman who has the original 935K molds. Uh, so these are two spec molds for the 935K that ran in the 70s and 80s. And then what we ended up doing is we ended up breaking the whole car apart, painted everything you can think of white, redid the motor, the, 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 the induction system, we did everything. Now you've got plans to race this car. I want to do, I want to do track days. And if I can, maybe with whatever series are in Southern California that I can get in with it, I think that's what I'll do. That's kind of the point, It's just bring something back that is really funky, really cool. And then the story behind the Apple car, again, it was the only year that Apple sponsored the race car. So it's pretty cool to like even have something like this. Uh, currently it's making 505 horsepower on twin turbo. So we detuned it because the engine itself is like super expensive. And so overall to like run the car, it's not that bad, but yeah. it's very enjoyable. It shoots flames, spits flames. It's a, it's a very fun car. I, I, I love it. I, I really do love it. And, it. and it gets attention and it makes people happy. And I think that's kind of what I wanted to do with it for sure. So we're here with Dave Shutton at the collection and we have a bit of some weird and wacky cars here that a lot of them are under your care over at the speed shop. What 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 is this world of like custom car culture? You know, I hear names like George Barris and Ed Roth, but I don't really know much about it. You know, what what is this world if you will and what is to you one of the weirdest wackiest cars here? Well, this world represents a time when free thinking and really creative futuristic art was transformed into cars to draw people to car shows. People like Ed Roth and George Barris and Gene Winfield, they would build all these crazy creations and they would get paid to drag them around the country to do appearances at shows. You know, this was at a time when that's what families did in the mostly in the winter in Midwest, go to these big indoor car shows, see all these crazy things and was meant to inspire and make people create new things. It's so rad, man. Like you want to talk about a bunch of car shows in one and what the Galpin Car Show does? I'm sitting here chatting with Dave Shutton, Bruce Meyer, and Mr. Cartoon, who couldn't be more different guys. You know what I mean? And they're all here. They're geeking out about these hot rods. They're geeking out about car culture. And that is why Galpin does what they do. This is why we go above and beyond and go above the norm of what would be 
marketing a dealer group, you know, marketing a dealership. So this is so rad, definitely a highlight of my time is being able to chat with these guys and being able to be here and just 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 live in that conversation, you know what I mean? So this is rad, man. Only only the Galpin Car Show can do this. What's up guys? We're here with Mr. Cartoon himself at the collection at Galpin, man. Cartoon, thank you for being here. It's been so awesome. Honestly. I had your Cortezes, I had your sidekick. Yeah. Now I'm in front of your freaking ice cream truck, man. Right. It's so sick to see that. So tell, tell me a bit about this truck, man. How long did it take you to build? What's the, what's the details behind it? Is it an actual ice cream truck? Like, what's the deal? It's a 1963 International ice cream truck. Could have been used as a dairy truck also. Um, I got it, it was from a client actually. I, I mirrored it for him and he didn't finish it. it. It disappeared for about six years and it was about a 10 year span from the time I started doing the murals to the time it, it got finished. Busted it out at the Nike debut with my Air Force Ones and Cortezes. Redid the interior since then. It has a V6 out of an Astro van. Yeah, I think I could see it through, through the freaking yeah. inside. So that's. That's see crazy, three windows man. right there. That is insane. But yeah, it rolls. It yeah. has hydraulics, so it'll lift up. Yeah. It can drive out. It has a freezer in it. I mean, we just give away candy and, right, and right, ice right. cream out of it. You know? does, it so, does it play the tune? Does it play yeah, the actual? Yeah, yeah. It has a, okay. a board right there. Gotcha, gotcha. So, you, you know, I got drops from Eminem. I got drops from Exhibit, Cypress Hill. For the families, for the kids, yeah. you know what I mean? That's also, right. It's for the street, so it's for, for grown folk. That's right. Trip out on it too, right. you know, celebrate, uh, you know, lowrider art and, and just being here in the Galpin show, there's such a, a mix of custom and different styles and we all come together. We meet with, you know, paint and uh, lay low. And, man, yeah. we're honored to be here. I thought it was so rad, man, to be there while you're chatting with Dave Shutton and Bruce, because that's like, you guys couldn't be more different than yep, that you know what yep. I mean and here you guys are chopping it up talking cars talking car culture yeah and that's like that's the essence of what the Galpin car show is you know this is why exactly. Galpin does what they do and why Bo is willing to put the resource behind something like this you know so yeah. it's rad to have you out here it's so sick to see this truck you know and um, sure. you know once again it just be within within with you here it's it's rad man thank you for showing up to the Galpin car show. great show family all came out today yeah. got our club brothers from Pegasus Elite all the car clubs are here kicking it. Very cool, you know, very cool. Yeah. I think I couldn't end it better than that, man. That's Thank right. you so much, Cartoon. I appreciate really appreciate it. it. Thanks That's for the right. time, brother. Cool. That's right. over the land of exotics and all the supercars you can see we got lamborghinis we got old lotuses a couple mclaren somewhere in the house i think i spotted a few ferraris one of the cars that sticks out is this thing look at this guys i hope we can get the right color on this in the editing but man this thing is like a beige beautiful skin blush pink v8 vantage in a manual transmission with a beautiful gorgeous interior i don't know what the heck this thing is this is a signet from aston martin this is a very rare bird right here the aston martin signet i don't know man this one kind of takes the cake for me guys we, we daily driving this thing or what perfect luxury city cruiser interior bits to go by q which is basically aston martin sonder once for anyone trying to know from the porsche world pretty rad thing we have landed ourselves in the vip area of the galpin showroom of the Galpin Car Show, and here we are. And guess what? They've got F1 on the big screen. That's right. So many people are here enjoying themselves with free food, the rings and stuff for people who are here. So it's pretty rad to get to check this out. What's going on guys? I am exhausted. It's been one hell of a show here at the Galpin Car Show 2024, 10 years in the making. It was the run of a lifetime. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like and a comment. Go ahead and share it with some friends. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff like this because we wanna be able to give you guys an inside look at what Galpin's got going on, how Galpin's getting involved in things, catching up with all things car culture, you know? So thank you guys for being here. Until next time. Yeah, yeah,